Following my email out yesterday about Open Office and Word, I had a couple of comments on um, the One Click Book Creation Facebook page. And in one of the comments, William, he mentions about using master documents in Word. Now, that just prompted my curiosity because that's not something that I've used for a long, long time. In fact, I haven't used master documents since the shift to the XML system in 2007. So more out of curiosity than anything else, I thought I'd write a blog post on it, which I'm now in the process of doing, but I'm going to just record this video just to show the master sub documents in Word 2013. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a blank document and then I'm going to just call this master and sub documents and that should be a dash and then I want headings I'm going to create something like 10 sub documents so what I need to do is I want automatic numbering so I'll just call these headings and then I can do that then if I paste that in a few times, and that's, and I get my headings. So now if I make all of these heading one, and I make that into title, then I can save my save my master document. Now you need to save these into a separate folder so I'll just call that master and then I'll save that there. Now I'll close this navigation pane and I'll zoom out a little bit. Now to create sub documents they have to be created on on your on a heading one. That's very important and this is why word styles that when, when you're working with word documents always try and use word styles where possible. Now what I need as well is I need a table of contents. Now I'll just use there bog standard table of contents which I'll just put there and then if I I just I'm going, to, I'm going to leave them all on the same page just to show you and that's basically was set up for setting up master sub documents now you need to click on view then on outline and then you'll get this horrible horrible view now this is very very powerful the outline view is but it's not used so much nowadays not since we have the navigation pane so with my headings highlighted, you need to highlight the headings and not the table of contents. Click on show document and then you get these other options. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create and then it'll create 10 sub documents based on the headings. It creates them like that. Now, if I close the view, I can't see anything. You might have noticed that it's now actually expanded and gone onto two pages. But that's because it puts in our beloved section breaks and this is what you get now that looks horrendous i think you'll agree and this is why they're, they're kind of fraught with danger because if you start deleting section breaks then you're going to mess the whole thing up okay that's that's the problem but now what we do is we save the document now, i don't know whether you saw that there but in the status bar it actually created the 10 documents there we go so zero eight um 12 minutes past eight in the morning as you can see if I open up document number five, heading five, I can start working on my document. Now this is the text for document five. I'll just copy that and I'll save heading five. And now if I go back to the master document, you can see that it's automatically updated, which is great. Now if I Go to heading three and do that. Then I open up heading three and you can see that it's actually been updated there. So it's, it is actually very, very powerful, but it's fraught with danger because it's Word basically. Um, come on, let me go back and open up number 10. Let me try again. So this is the for document 10 and I'll also insert a picture shortcut keys not working and 
Don't want my ugly mug. I'll just put a tick in the box. There we go, and then I'll centralize that. I don't have a graphic style in this because I'm just using the bog standard word template. And if I save that and go back to 10, see it's all automatically updated, which is great. But like I say, it is fraught with danger. Now if I I can lock the document to stop people updating the master document and things like that. And then your team can work on the sub documents. Now I can collapse the sub documents. While while it's collaborated, it's sorry, while it's, once it's all brought into the master documents, then there's the danger of other people, you know, you you're working on it while someone else is working on the sub document and then you're going to get a problem, then you're going to get um, a locked issue or something like that. As I haven't explored it too much, those are the kind of dangers. So you collapse the sub documents and then the master links to them via these hyperlinks. So if I want to open, let's say, document number eight, and then I can save that. And if I want to expand the sub documents, I click on that, and then I can close the document. And then, as you can see, there's heading eight. And I have to rebuild. There was a little problem there because I accidentally turned the video off. But if I want to rebuild the table of contents, what you need to do is you need to ensure that the locked document is turned off. And then you can click on expand sub documents and then that will bring all the documents back into the master as such. And let's say if I insert, if I want to insert a page break just before heading 10, which will force it down onto page three, and then I can update the document that way. And there you, there you can see, I mean, if I, if I now modify the heading to actually do it to all of them, I can do it that way. And then we have, we have them all separate as, as so. Then I can save that and then I can still just, still brings them back as such. Now this is as far as I'm going to go into master and sub dogs because I never use them. So if you want to go further into them, then by all means, hope this has given you an insight and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.